and welcome to the Fire King Plays Sable. And today we have a very special guest. Oh, hi, it's me, Ferris. Nice to see you. Yeah, my partner's here today, and we're about to have some fun playing Sable. So where last we left our hero, we uh, made it to the wash. Um, explored the worm. It's weird. Yeah, no, we went in there. It's a giant petrified worm, but, oh, appara holy but apparently it's alive. It's not just a... S yeah, okay. it's a giant thing living at different, uh, different speed from other living things because it's so big. Oh, that's um, so cool. Yeah, we had to... Ex uh, you saw when we were going through the trophies before, I got one called Gastric Bypass. <laughs> that was from diving in there. There, there were a bunch of uh, journals of someone who had also gone in there, and he gradually went insane, and oh. at the end of it, we found... This mask! <gasps> no, nothing. The sandworm mask. Yeah, no. I, I wore it on my way out and then never again. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> but also, my weird mask is this one. A bunch of eyes that do, in fact, move. Ah, uh, yes, biblically accurate mask. Yeah, <laughs> the shade of everything. This is the one you start with. After, well, when you leave. This is the one you start with. The child's mask. This is the one that goes with the, sh the suit I'm currently wearing, got it from the whale ship. Um, I don't like it as much because you can kind of see there, it, it extends out. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. But the machinist mask goes well with it. Just so yeah, right. now we're going to explore this place because, you know, here's the map. Um, so yeah, we're at a ship over here. There's one in each of the parts of the map. Um, yeah, we got some exploring to do. So this will be probably the last bit of exploring. Center of Brunswick. Oh yeah, the, 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 the frame rate is weird, but specifically for the characters. Grab is something you sell specifically. Ah. So gonna have to do that again. Oh, maybe I'll be able to glide. Chum. <gasps> what is that? It's a chum egg. We have enough, actually, for, uh, we, 80, yeah, 81. Well, I needed 80 for another stamina upgrade. So, after we do this, we're going to be going right there. And then to go and sell the scrap. Ooh, what am I doing here? Yeah, like I said, it's, the game isn't voiced, so when we do have people to talk to, There probably will be, but it looks like um, it looked like a lot of these are just what I was doing. You have to leave it in only in enough time for it to get in the right place. Ooh. Learn how to pick out what things look like from a distance. Mm -hmm. My go-to method is touch everything. Yep. That, that's actually how you get quests in this game, is to talk to everyone. Because if someone has a quest for you, and you haven't talked to them yet, there won't be an icon or anything above their head. So you have to just test it out. 
but that dot there, which turns into a square when you're close enough, that's uh, interact. Come on, camera. Also, this world feels like... Ah! There we go! Um, there we go. Feels like lower gravity. Wait, so that was to get me up here, but what else? I need to get to that platform to get that door. So. Oh, I just gotta let it keep going, don't I? Oh, probably. Climb pretty much everything in this game except metal. Metal, too slow. Okay. Oh, here we go. Center of Brunswick. We open the door in the center of Brunswick. That is Saren. I would tell you what that stands for, but I don't remember. It is an acronym. It spells something out. It's pretty much this the ship's uh, AI. I say hello to Saren. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. Okay, recording number five. So if you want to claim one of the voices in here. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. At long range, communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Mission? Granted, Saren. I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can squeeze something out, out without it being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Might as well get the terraformers up and running. Right? Deacon, if you don't shut da shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been run in your mouth, we'd still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there and... All their more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shielding's beyond repair right now. So whatever I can just yeah, right. <laughs> If we run these things, they'll pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. Oh, so they did come from Earth. Okay. Well, then maybe we don't do it for us. Recording goes silent. No one read messages. Okay. Alright. One more of these and we get the, uh... Hover bike parts from the whale. And also finish that quest. The whale, which I'm gonna fast travel anyway, so we'll just go here. The whale is this ship. Yeah, I mean we're currently in a downed ship. These are all parts of Saren. Notice how small it is. There's a bunch of these, undamaged for the most part, within the whale. It's the mothership, pretty much. Yeah. We're, we're listening to recordings of the first people who came to this planet. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how long ago that was, but... God, I hope yeah. the whale is not a biblical reference. I because figure it's just so big that it can hold other things. That makes sense. I wonder if there's stuff out here. Those are all bones, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
What? Um, oh yeah, no, no. This is this is probably the biggest that's skeleton big we found. Uh, yeah, it's head, rib cage, tail. Tail. Yeah. There's something out here I know that I haven't found yet. I'm not sure. What? What? Shoulders, knees, and bones. <laughs> Don't ask um, me why. <laughs> but yeah. Can you be. mark things? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. I was gonna say if you can um, find or pinpoint it. I've I've done that a few times. Markers aren't usually necessary for me, but um. Mm -hmm. That's why I just walk to the shore. This is the cartographer's game. That's what we got on that. This is the petrified forest, which we've explored thoroughly already on a wild goose chase for the most part. Over here to get um, some bugs that someone was collecting back in town over here. Yeah, because they built under the bones. Um, oh, that actually is cool. Look at that. Yeah. Could look around here a little bit more. Yeah, it's got an interesting art style. The only thing that's throwing me off is the frame rate of. Very lower weird, than, yeah. Yeah, lower than the frame rate of the actual game. Yeah, and they have people kind of react during conversations, but it takes like half a second. Very strange. Where did that That's the perpetual. We're using the power that surrounds this planet to uh, generate a hover field. It's using. The gliding stone, which isn't lit up in the picture there, but it does light up red. Chums again. Um, but all right. There you are. Is this sentient? Uh, debatable. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Like, it, it, it hears us and can go toward us, but I don't know about sentient. The, the machinists say that they can hear, um, they can hear the voices of machines. And, like, yeah, no, your, uh, your bike always existed, you're just bringing your form. Um, it's a bit, here, oh, what you, there was an atmosphere change somewhere around there. there there's a weird at atmosphere within the, uh, oh, come on. Within the petrified forest where it's all foggy. But um, other than that, I don't really see too many atmosphere changes. That's a chunk. Nice. Well, usually if you get close, it, it buzzes on the on the controller. It isn't buzzing yet, but I saw it. Yeah. See? Is that it? That's it. Fucking yes! Come on! <laughs> yeah, My and heart? you you collect you collect chums for stamina. Like you've seen this thing come up when I'm when I'm climbing. Um, that's like a box with yes. a thing around it and a thing around that. The box is what you start with, okay. and you get half of the stamina. outside. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. So and you don't use stamina while gliding. That's Fucking phenomenal. The mm -hmm. it's not the fa the fastest glide, but um, it is perpetual. And of course, there's no fall damage either, so I could just do that. If you fall far enough. Uh, she pulls it out right at the end. There's no fighting. Left. There's no damage. All exploration. It's all exploration. How did you come from that angle? You were behind me. Oh no, I could have climbed up here on my own. This is just faster. Much faster. I have the fastest bike in the game. And unlike some other real fast bikes, you don't go you don't get it through a quest. You just buy the parts. <laughs>
That's what those marks are, by the way. These. Oh. Red dots are just rocks. Um, so let's go to the chum lair. See the queen chum. The queen chum. <sighs> Remember my voice for her. <laughs> Is she? Is she? Yeah, you can kind of see. See that? Get it. I do wish it, the fast travel landed us closer. <laughs> but we have to, we'd start outside, have to go all the way in. No, 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 that, that, yeah. <gasps> see what I mean by you can see oh it up there? <laughs> my. And here are all the chum eggs we brought so far, planted. I greet the the, the the chum queen. There we go. Queen chum. The queen asks if I have eggs for her. My, my egg bringer. My children. They dance with excitement at the treasures you bring. More friends to dance and bring. I have to admit, collecting chums has been a more satisfying task than I initially thought. I hand over the next batch of eggs with excitement. Now I think to myself, I'll be having one of those precious tears, please. Now, my child, a little patience. Also, she's speaking telepathically. <laughs> I mean, she's not really like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> little blooper, little dog. Oh, no! It's tears of happiness for having her kids back. It buzzes whenever I'm near Chum, so of course it's gonna do it while I'm in here. Hey, third one. Priest. The warmth of the Chum's tear pulses inside my chest and spreads through my limbs. Another 20, please. I promise that's the last batch. Up to 100 before we complete the quest. And hopefully those doors open. I wanna see what's behind them. There's a chest behind each of them. <laughs> All right. Here, so next we got some scrap. Go here. Also, I have a lot of cash, so I might as well buy some of the bike parts here just to clear them out. I was gonna say you have the fastest. Bike yeah, bike but I there's a trophy for getting a number of bike parts, and I kind of just want to collect all the bike parts if I can. Uh, yes, giant beetle. Oh. The so we got two parts of the scrapper bike. Um, we have 700. These bikes. Could have gotten the Beetle first off, it was cheaper, but I went for the scrapper stuff. Next. Oh, do I? No, no, I collected all the masks I have. Yeah, we don't have any masks. Um, right, we need to go to the fisherman too, because I I ha got those three. Let's go back to the ocean. See, when we get three of one, we get a mask associated with it. So I still need uh, two anglers badges, one climbing badge, and one entertainer. This is what the uh, customizing looks like. Bike. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot slower, but let, let's see what the beetle bike looks like. It undulates. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it in its normal color scheme to start with. See, that's a beetle bike. Wow, real, real bad acceleration. Um, but we have different colors. I collect the dyes. And the first die I collected was this one. Of course, of course I'm gonna use that. Oh, and this one's putting the red on the side. Hey, I'm surprised that there wasn't a straight up red. Oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah, like if I go for all the parts with that one. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. But Oh, and I got all the cartographer bike. 
So the first set of dies I got is the one I want for the rest of the day. Imagine that. Got a balloon. Oh wow, that is horrible acceleration, but much better max speed. <laughs> this is a starting bike here. Um, it would be. This was my starting bike. first bike you get to own. I like how it flies because there's like a trail and color behind it. <laughs> yeah. And we recently got this bike. Leave it in the colors. Lightning bike. Lightning oh, crystal bike. Yeah. Good stats too, but I have better. Here's the scrapper bike. Colors. So that, yeah. the, the wings actually fold back when you start riding. And, and the back, the... Yeah, you can see it in the preview yeah. there. It actually opens up when you ride. But I found the Speedster. Cost me, what, 300 for each part? <laughs> a lot. Those stats, though. Yeah, but those stats, though. That's, nope, that's still the scrapper part. There it is. Look at that. But yeah. those stats, though. But those stats, though. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't have the fastest max speed, but has the fastest everything, everything else. else. So I've just stuck with that since I got it. Absolutely. I ended up turning in enough scrap that it gave me over 900 cuts. I'm like, I'm just going to spend all these. Scrappers here. And we already have the scrapper badge, uh, scrapper mask as well. We turned in so much. We actually got two badges at once. <laughs> Good scrap. 225. Look at that. That's good. Go buy other bike parts if I wanted, because there's certainly more back in the city at Ecria. Um, where was our next destination? Was there something we were going to do? Oh, right. Angler Hut. Yes. I just said I was going to do this. Ah, the three different fish, though. Yes. Hello there, glider. What can I do for you? Have those fish you asked me about? Another successful haul. Excellent. You might actually be serious about this, eh? I tell him I'm serious as a little kicker, which I hope is a trait of that fish. It would make, it would it would make me seem very knowledgeable if so. He chuckles, but I can't tell how. Well, here's another badge for your hard work. Now, Glider, one final assignment before the mask is yours. This one will take you west to Red Sea. I knew I should have been fishing Red Sea. <laughs> Bring me a stormfish, a sand ray, and a uh, Good luck, out Ah, uh, you might assume this is Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I don't recall. I, I did a bit of fishing in Texas. I think I got like one. Oh, I got two of them. I only need the you Hummer. Need the hum well, it did pop up that the only one you needed was Hummer. Odd. I didn't see that. What happened? <laughs> nope, that's entirely valid. I was going to say at least it's not oh, nearly as bad true. as the near fishing. See if we can find that, shall we? And the is here. Should be an easy fish. Hopefully. If it's the only thing that can be found in that area. Ah, I just hope the fishing mechanic works. Also, yeah, these are the cart hot Look at that fucking mask. Okay, but that mask is sick. Yeah, and I have one already. Um. Yeah, and it does turn around, too. 
I found that every um, every outfit outfit piece that has something flowy glitches like badly. Like I like this one's even glitching in the menu. Oh. And I was wearing uh, the first real outfit they gave you for a while. This one, which is mm -hmm. a cape. The cape glitched through my chest and stuck there. Oh no. Yeah. A lot of cool outfits though. Actually, if you have a shade outfit. Oh. It goes with this. It's the only one that actually looks good with that mask. And it's the shade of Ecria. Pretty much the Batman of that that city. There's some outfits here that I do like, but I, I've been sticking with the whale ship because uh, just it looks good. I'm wearing a, a spacesuit. It's an I'm actual spacesuit. It looks more spacesuit. Yeah, and like you can, yeah, and like the mask. Why is it the mask gives clarity and visibility I'm not used to with other masks? The air tastes cleaner whilst I wear it. Huh. It's an environmentally controlled suit. Yeah. But the, the outfit doesn't look, or the mask doesn't look quite as good as the machine. But the machine is, I have the top, I don't have the bottoms. Oh. Yeah. It, it's a... It's an engineer, pretty much. Uh, it said southeast, yeah? What? Forest? Ah, forest! Yes, southeast. Oh yeah, lush and colorful. Like, you can see any color in the dark. <laughs> No, that, that's how they do it. The dark is just... Also, there was a whole puzzle down there. I think it out this. Like, everything has an outline, including shadow. You look down there. Of course. I'm, ga I'm gonna say right here. Yep. Oh, that would have gotten me the trophy too. There's a trophy for falling far enough. Um, and the way to determine that is if you start like actually free falling, like mm -hmm. skydiving. It's working! Excellent. Wait, that was a that's butterfly. Bro. I'm so. How are you fishing? In the sand, yeah. Oh. Sand fishing. There, there is water, but the fish are in the sand. Okay. The most of the desert here feels like it used to be an ocean. Oh, see, I've not seen this behavior before, so this is probably it. Yep, there it is, Hummer, oh. a bird-like fish that often surfaces from below sands to consume food in its natural habitat of palm forests. Also, it's real glitchy right now. They move with erratic and incredible speed. Hmm. Yeah, the tracks. Yep, I got it. Get the angle mask. Saw a butterfly over here. Oh, she did. Um, right. Yeah, didn't expect to get that so quickly. But since it was in an area that just gets it for me, like, up. Oh, this is the only thing here. There we go. I'm glad the uh, mechanic actually worked as well. Sometimes I'm just sitting there hitting buttons. There's a person. Here. Hello there, glider. What can I do for you? The whole thing is patient, so I speak real slowly with him. How are those fish you asked me for? Ah! She seems less taken aback than I expected, but more delighted. Well, you've heard the call of the sands, haven't you? Sam? Well done with this really good stuff. Thank you. There she waves my thanks. Thank you. Trust me, Sam. Lots of gliders think they want it. Believe they can. Not many of them do as well as you. Been nice seeing you flourish. Where's his throat? It makes his voice more official. And now it is my pleasure. I hope you keep your fishing at your fishing on the rest of your gliding stable. Whether it's your calling or not, I suggest you make it a hobby. It's a noble pastime, and between you and me, a very secure source of income. I thank Yoshi for everything and go on my way. 
luck out there. Gun fishing complete! Who the fuck are you? There's never been another person here. Oh well. Um. Now I'm just never been there. But the place I said I was looking to find is apparently up here somewhere. Here. Just, just go north. On the bow of the ship. This stern, I don't know which way it's facing. I think I'll be able to plan this. Hopefully. In fact, I'm already going to north. So, lighters oh. are now. Oh, oh, this. This right here. Okay, I was looking past it. Yes. The vivarium. Oh. Machinery, okay. Oh, oh. Vivarium is in life. Oh, for sure, for sure. That's no, one of the... That's... That was one of yeah, I know. And I hope that I have everything, fish-wise at least. Probably not. Say hello to researcher Cassie. Welcome to the Great Vivarium. The person at the desk greets me with open arms, which they lower with some avian flourish. I feel very greeted. You're a glider, aren't you? I am. You'll like this place. I'm sure of it. They take a breath, like they're not sure of it, and I let them speak. <clears throat> I'm Cassie, and I'm the proprietor of this it's good to meet you. Sable. Sable? That's a great name. I'm Cassie. Oh, oh, I said that, didn't I? Sorry. Forget that. Welcome to the Vivarium, a home for animals small and smaller. From the sleekest fish to the most fragile butterfly. And everything in between, which is mostly plants and rocks. I know. It's... It needs a bit of work. But I'm new at this. It sounds like she smiles, if nervously. Wasn't long ago I finished my own gliding. Congratulations. I congratulate Cassie on finishing her gliding, and on creating such a lovely vivarium. It's a place that feels very happy. Cassie thanks me, and then looks at me very sincerely. If I can give you one piece of advice. When you think you're done thinking about what you want to do, think again. Because I was supposed to be an angler. I told you that was the angling mask. And now here I am in a vivarium, researching all the fish I was too unskilled to catch. She was mentioned before. I, no, Yoshi mentioned her. She was she was his former apprentice. Aww. Um, and he he's just hoping that she's having fun with doing whatever she's doing. So, um, yeah, no, it, it was it was it was kind of cool there. Wasn't much for butterflies either. And he mentioned that after failing to fish, she went to try and hunt butterflies. And yeah. Don't worry, I'm good at overthinking. Cassie crosses her arms and observes me for a moment. Then seems to get an idea. You know, maybe this is getting ahead of myself, but I was thinking about how this sort of thing, this collecting thing, might be a good task for our glider. Because I've been thinking about how the world's worst angler and butterfly catcher, me, can't really be counted on to fill this vivarium forever. I tell her I'm interested. 
Well, I mean, I don't have badges to give away or mask or anything, but what if we just did it for fun? Like, if you've got some spare time and you feel like fishing, bring whatever you catch. Or you pluck a butterfly out of the air? Perfect. I'll make a home for it. And then who knows? Maybe someday it'll be a real glider task. That sounds good. Perfect. Then, I guess, onward, glider, to fish. And also to bugs. A classic glider phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you've got anything with you already, I'd be happy to take a look at that, too. On discuss. Hand in some fish. I hand over the fish and Cassie lights up. <gasps> Thank you, Sable. Great stuff. I'll get them into the tanks. Sable, good news. Found another old fishing rod in the storage the other day. Like, like here in one of the old back rooms I was in. Cassie produces then what looks to be the <laughs> oldest possible fishing rod. <laughs> I know it looks ancient, but it's in good condition. It's really made of some incredibly strong material. Has to survive, has to be, to survive this long. The Trickster Atomic Rod. <laughs> I think you should have it. I love how good you've gotten at this. Shows me I made the right decision. I think there's a good chance we wouldn't have gotten this right away, but I had so many fish yeah. that I just already got there. And that <laughs> probably will improve my fishing for all I know. I would have expected to get a new rod through Yoshi, the, the angler, but I guess not. <laughs> I just get the mask that way. I tell Cassie I think she definitely has made the right decision. <laughs> Cassie gestures shyly around her. It's a special place, isn't it? In response, I give her an approving nod, and I can tell it relaxes her. It is. I hand in some butterflies. I hand over some butterfly specimens to Cassie. Thanks, Sable. I'll put these in the tank. Yoshi says hello. I tell Cassie Yoshi sends his regards. She lights up, and I really like to see it. <laughs> Yoshi? Oh no. She's laughing. <laughs> oh no. Are you are you an apprentice of his? Oh no, you Oh no. Did he tell you how terrible I was when he was trying to teach me? Oh yes. I tell Cassie that Yoshi did say that, but I ensure that my tone conveys his. Well, I'm glad he hasn't changed. Honestly, I'm pleased he says hello because I sort of... It's not even that I thought he'd be disappointed either. I just thought he might forget. I shake my head and tell Cassie what Yoshi told me, and the compliments make her get smaller and smaller behind her hands, but I can tell they fell out of her. Man, you chose a good wonder voice, huh? <laughs> She shakes her head and flaps her hands when I tell her the worst of it. Yoshi is proud of her. Uh, I hate to hear that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking accurate. She laughs. Or, no, I don't. It, I really, it's nice. It actually is really nice. I'm just, you know, it's, it's really nice. Feel like it's hard to hear nice things about you. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> ah, this is wild. Ooh, I uncomfortably called out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. As someone who never expects to hear the same compliments you throw at everyone, turn back at you, which you deserve, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, this is fucking accurate. Woof. <laughs> I mean, same thing. Uh, uh, it's either always yes or extremely. <laughs> yeah, always. Cassie nods and sighs, calmer than before. I'm glad you get it. And thanks, Sable. You made my day. Um... Which fish do I have left to catch? Let me, let me check the computer. Fish specimen report. Bello guppy delivered. Loaded eye clam delivered. Dopey dart. Flutter thrust missing. 
No soul. No Hummer delivered. Light color. All those delivered. Scabby fish, shelled cup, and sucker fish missing. Store fish missing. Cup angler missing. Great! That's a lot. Well, it That's seems like you don't have to catch a fish more than once. No, no, you only need to do it once. Um, that's why whenever I was selling things, I would always keep one. Which butterflies do I have left to collect? Uh, chalk, crystal, Nemoor, delivered. Oasis, shaded leaf, delivered. Salt, missing. Stepwell, sunshine, delivered. Okay. The, well, there's only one sec one section of the map I haven't been to. Yet. That one. <clears throat> Not gonna go. Anywhere. Good. Take care, Sable. Enjoy your gliding. <laughs> I am uncomfortable with how me this character is. I was look. I had no idea what I was getting into the first time I ever talked to her. So, yeah, yeah. That that was wow. All right. <laughs> Now we're just going to explore the vivarium as much as we can. Might be scrap around for a while. Yeah, I want to see where this stuff went. What goes in here? Honestly, I wonder how they'd even display the fish. They swim in sand. The whole place is... The whole planet is sand. So... Will they appear in here when I leave and come back? I was wondering that, that just That might now. happen. Yes, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course, because you just submitted them, it probably hasn't mm. I mean, I, loaded I've, the area to look I've, cer I've certainly been in some games where they'll be there instantly. But... Google says, did you but need Animal Crossing? <laughs> I've not played Animal Crossing. However, the, uh, the this is an indie game, so water in here. Also, yeah, that's what the water looks like. Water. Pretty much. And here's a way out. Not the way we came in. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. Yeah. There's only one swim speed, though you can run while you're on it. There's only one swim speed. Okay. Yep, there it is. We came out the other side. Alright. Was I gonna go to the next map section? I think so. I, think I was gonna go via the top, which nothing to fast travel to over here. Um, so we just start here. Or, or I was gonna say start up one, and then all you have to do is go like far east. Right, but I'm actually gonna go here because I wanna buy more ship parts. There might more uh, bike parts. Yeah. This is a pretty neat game. Yeah, if only it worked better. I know. <laughs> you haven't seen the worst of it so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like daytime too. But yeah, this is where we did the whole shade of Akria thing. Uh -huh. People under the bridge here. Um, oh, goes. <laughs> just check. Yes. Um, but yeah, if I wear the mask, I can buy. Uh, I bought the the suit, and also you can buy this ship, the the bike parts over here. Are they going to be here is the question. I don't know what time of day they actually be. Um, but I will say um suit. This only looks good in full suit. Look at that. Like arm wings. <laughs> that wings. But, even though, you know, we glide like that. Oh my god! The eyes are moving. But we, we, we had to follow this symbol up there, which is pretty much the mask. Yeah. It's painted all over the walls, and we had to find the mask by following the symbols. That's... I do not like the name. <laughs> Come on, poke your head out. But yeah, it was the former shade of Acria who said this. But we got it all. Oh my gosh. Wait, are we Robin? This guy. This guy, this guy Maz, is the former shade of Acria. Huh. Also, 
This guy's mask? That's the climbing mask. Yeah, I've got I've got I've gotten the badges through uh some challenges and quests. You gonna pop out or what? I thought you only came out after dark, and I went there after dark and it didn't happen. And then it happened like twilight. Okay. I'm not gonna No, and there's no way to change the time. You just wait. And every game I've played where the time of day matters, they give you a way to change it. But no, I haven't found it. Or, or there is no way. I have to die here as well. But this is where I got the speedster parts. He also has the giraffe bike and the delivery bike. Giraffe! And the salt bike. Huh. Oh! An outfit! I'll get the outfit. Um, salt bike looks weird. I didn't even see that one mentioned. 150, 150, and 100. I'm wondering if the salt bike will help you in the future. Probably not. I'm gonna get the die at least. Um, but it's interesting. Probably not gonna be nearly as good as what I want, but. I have 360 points to get all three pieces I would need. 450? But I can sell. Now I'm going to need mushrooms for something that I don't know how many. So I'll sell eight of them, because he's got 18 of them. Chalk butterfly. Pretty. Yeah, the white on its wings is chalk. You can oh. tell how old it is by how much chalk. That's really cool. So all but one. Yeah, actually, you can see the description right there. You remember? Oh, there's these mushrooms as well. Ooh, they go for a pretty penny. <laughs> this, the, this is a hundred each, but I'm not going back there to collect more. Those were difficult. Um. They'll sell one. Oh, right, I got so many of these fucking little kickers. And I don't know if I'm gonna need these for something specific. Uh. Leave, leave it to ten. I don't know. Uh, food doesn't. It, food is a thing I can buy, but it's not a thing I can use, right? Come on, there we go. This salt bike looks, it looks interesting. Like aficionado, we got enough parts. We have to have 20 parts for that, I think. Um, and I have 238 left. I'm gonna leave it here. Next time I come by a machine or I can customize my bike, I will take a look. I'm not gonna be as good, I'm sure. <laughs> but Maybe one of them gives a higher max speed and uh, have the ultimate bike. Well, I don't think you can max out all three. Oh. Oh well. Preferred outfit. Oh yeah, we have the there's a biker top. Often worn by bikers from the Red Sea. Designed to give good movement while just accelerating across dunes. Padding inside the legs of these makes sure they don't wear thin when riding bikes past them. They always seem to have high speeds. Green, too. And it has a hood for some masks. Thin worm. Strapper. Shade. Doesn't look bad with a shade mask. I just like the machinist mask. It looks cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I still do. And I think. Already glitching through me. Yeah, it is. Oh. I hate the flowy. It just does not look good. We're back to this. Okay. So. It was that, and also, you just head off toward the north. Such an open space, there must be something else out there. Right? 
crap. There was a whole quest in the city here where we had to. They lost power. I had no power when we got there. So it's kind of like miss. We had to figure out who took it. Who, who stole the power core. Ow. Yeah. And they never actually confirm whether or not your choice is correct. Oh. That's but a the develop one. But the developers themselves have it. Oh. And I picked it. did just go all the way to the top. Um, so I'm gonna head back this way a little bit as we go. In case. Mostly, but uh, that's also where you're more likely to find fish. Because they like nibbling at the roots. can do is look back and forth. Even if I want to quit, it, 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 it won't it won't work. So I just keep doing this until I fish. Aww. Still can't tell what it is. It, I would always have so much trouble near town. What? So that made sense. I'm like, okay, maybe there's just too much going on. But then sometimes just out in the middle of nowhere like this. Maybe I'm too close to my bike. Who knows? Anything? Oh! Yeah, that. Oh, that's what the new the new uh, rod does. It's a much wider thing. <laughs> Stormfish. Already have that. Huh. I figured that was what it was It's pooped me, that's what it did. Yeah. One the correct way. New area. I didn't find any big open space. Also, the, the different areas in here are denoted mostly by the color of the sand, but also some of the environment. And it is just, it's a border. There's no <laughs> mixing of them. They just go from one to the other. Gotcha. Awesome. Border it, around an area. You can see it here. Yeah. It's this bit. It goes it looks around like there. It and then be, and this then... is where you start, the Abexi camp. Maybe, but is there a point? Question. Oh, what the? Again? Uh, really? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I get off because even Sable disappeared. Then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the trophy as we're going. <laughs> Finally get that. Uh. Oh, oh, 
already. There's an arc. Fresh, yeah, there's uh, one of these in each of the areas, too. You have to go through a bunch of those rings and you get collectible. Which goes to a place that I also haven't been to yet, but I've been to the area it's in, so I just haven't thought. Uh, as soon as we get it, though, I'm going to want to Oh, and there's the cartographer's balloon. Good. That's the first thing we really want to do. This is right in front of me. Oh, jeez. So they get, they call this area the Sodic Wastes. So maybe it's because it's a ship graveyard. Because it's not the mine. Yeah, that's a swarm of something. This is not one of the rings we have to drive through. This is wreckage from this ship. I don't want to stand in front of them because then you can't see this house. <laughs> it always looks at where it was looking. Door there. Just for it. Oh, I got that already. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. There have been some very high up places. Okay, we have reached the main puzzle. <laughs> really loud noise. <laughs> Get that. Also, shortcut back. All the way around just to open the door. Sells for so much. I need to pick up all of it. No, I love it. Need to hit it. Probably would have grabbed on. Yeah, it's not like you you press it again in the air. So you can do that if you just hold. Oh come on, little bitch. Oh, it's allowing me to climb on this. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'll look around first. Oh, I 
finish installing it. Cool. batteries to uh open the place. So we gotta go get that one. Yeah. So normally you can't climb anything metal unless it's a yellow um grate like these. But they're apparently allowing me to climb up over these sides because that's how the puzzle works. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's already in a good position. Stop this here. Ah! True. No. And, then, and then I just do that while it's going back and forth. Okay. If we miss, I'll do that first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, wait, no, I shouldn't be going all the way up. Uh. I was just about to tell you to stay duck. <laughs> I, I meant to, but it kept going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Climbing takes steps. But gliding doesn't. Gliding. Yeah. It also you can't recover stamina while gliding. Oh yeah, no, the, the chest in here is glitched oh, through the ground! That's okay, so that's... funny. Hey! Rude. Glad I stopped this right here, because it's just like, oh, it's already in the right spot for me yeah. to do this. last ship you were telling me about. Yeah! Okay. I only had two left. And I had saved in front of the second to last one. Oops. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the well to unlock the door. You have unread messages. The text on screen remains a mystery, but this time I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Sure. Up and running for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth time. 
Radiation levels are approaching critical, only rising. Between that and the lack of breathable air, even our children's children will need protective gear to do so much as walk between ships. Deacon finally gave up the ghost last week. Age, nothing more. Just time. I've been lucky that way. I never gave up on the corporate rescue mission. Give them that. It's so stupid. Even if they were floating around up there, they have no way of getting down here. At least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere. Who knows? Sing pauses a moment, and sighs to himself. Saren, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up once every uh, once every few years to try and send some long-range comms, but that's a job I leave to future generations. This way, you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around this star. Hell, maybe more if anyone can figure you out. Just break, and it's over, but... I'm sorry things ended up this way. I'd hope better for us to be stranded on a planet that wants to kill us, but, uh won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make sense of this one day. But if anyone asks, whatever century, I might try my best. Now I need to go take care of them. For what it's worth, for what it's worth, sir, I quite like the masks. The thing laughs, and, is sad, and it's sad but sweet. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts, and then I say goodbye too. No, I'm not this. Yeah, so that's why everyone wears masks. Wild. Because it started as protective equipment to be able to breathe the atmosphere. Part of the culture. And became a part of the culture even after the atmosphere became breathable. Wow. Hey. That's a real good story. door still red? It is. Hmm. That's suspicious. Go from this one. Go back to the beginning. Or to this dungeon. Oh! Wait. 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 Oh. Is that a real fake door? That's a real fake door, isn't it? Frickin' crack. It might be right. Real Rude! Real fake doors here. Rude! <laughs> Okay, so we're actually going to travel first and then come back here because that's a fast travel point now. Okay. To the whale! The whale! <laughs> <laughs> and then probably to sell the scrap. Do this first, and yeah. the whale is big enough that this is the better option. Just ride in. <laughs> look at, look, like yeah, it. look at this. Yeah. I explored this thing top to bottom already, and it was a lot. But I actually needed the the bike for one of the posters. Oh dear. What? Oh yeah, no. Oh, um, oh it's a ramp. Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I just <laughs> missed. See, there's a button over there. It led all the way over there, and it was on a timer. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. you definitely. I think the door is. How oh, was this? Difficult to get to because I don't remember where it is. Uh, yeah, it's that way. Have to get there from an angle. I did. Right, because you can call your. Yeah, but the the thing is, there was I mean the ladder in there. I just take this the boxes. Oops. But the way to actually get there, there's no ladder right next to the door. We got three of them. We got the suit. Now that we have all six, as you can see. The suit, the suit was behind that door. Behind this door. What is, a, is that a bike? Bike. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lotus Heron. Hey, amateur historian. We've completed this quest. Heck yeah. Uh, you've recovered data from all six ships on this planet. Thank you, Sable. I'm beginning to understand. 
Theron trails off, an edge of doubt betraying their otherwise emotionless figure. You now have full clearance, Sable, granting you complete access to the whale facility. Give me the mic. The bike in the chamber looks shining and new despite being ancient. I asked Theron if it's really for me. Yes, Sable, there is nothing stopping me from granting you full access to my facilities. Please avail yourself of this transport device. Hmm. I assure Saren that I will use it to come visit as often as I can. I say farewell. Aww. Historical reconnection complete! Give me the new bike parts. The ship AI is lonely. Uh -huh. Oh, that's an interesting one. Right? This is the, the back end. This is definitely the front. That's I cool. I like it. Whale ship bike engine. An inaudible vibrating hum emanates from the sleek surface of this part when you put your hands on it. It feels alive to, ev to every subtle movement made by the driver. Oh. Whaleship bike wing. Kept in the whale for an incomprehensibly long time, as it switches states, the mechanism glides fluidly in a satisfyingly fluid motion. Whaleship bike front. Perfectly preserved in the whale, the front of this bike is made from familiar-looking metals molded with precision impossible for humans to replicate. Cool. Gotta know that bike's that. Oh, well, wait, we gotta go we, to someone who can do We that. are gonna go to Burnt Oak Station. One, to turn in that scrap, but also to see this bike. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I bet you this is the bike with all the sacks. Maybe. From the I, description? When I looked it up, I'm not actually <laughs> sure. Ah. Giving me any Oh, what? Wait, what? The hands. Uh, I, I think something. <laughs> the hands. For the. That can't be right. <laughs> no, it went back. See? Okay. That, yeah. That would have been holy. Yeah, so, something weird was going on. I'm going to switch it back to here. Where we start. Okay, now this is what there it gives me. Huh. More max speed, less acceleration in hand. A lot less acceleration. I'm going to just... Actually, I, well, we saw what it looks like altogether. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on... Well, they all have the same stats. Every, oh. every part of the same stats. For the appearance, really. Because I want to see what happens in the back. <gasps> yeah! Sick. Okay. Yeah. So it may not be um, as good acceleration and handling, but... Oh, the sound it makes, too. That's satisfying. That's it so sounds like a whale. Oh, right. I'm real glad to have the lights back. Oh my God. Real, real glad to have the lights back. Yeah, and it still has the the good handling. Part of the handling is whether or not it stops on a dime. Interesting. Um, because it definitely just stops instantly. Full speed there. But having that bit in the back is, may not look as good shape wise. Oh. Yeah, no, that's one of many phrases. There's another 330. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, no, I, I like that I have the lights back. That's what I really wanted. Um, let me continue, huh? So what opens up the map area? The cartographer. I pointed out the balloon before. That's our next destination. Gotcha. Yep, over there. That. Oh, I see it. Give me stuff like this. I'm just gonna want to drive through them. Exactly. Video games have taught me that if you drive through enough rings. Well, I mean that is also a thing in this game, but very specific rings. These are. It's all shipwreckage. It's all environment. This is cool. Can you drive on top? 
Probably not. It's not uh, shallow enough. Not the right part that you know it. This is the thing we gotta see what's going on. Oh hey, watch out. <gasps> Uniquely friend shaped. <laughs> Indeed. Man, even the rocks over here are fucking square. They're salt! What? Are these birds in the air? He's up there. Yeah, so probably around the side here somewhere there'll be a place to stand. Oh, I'm seeing a ladder there. Oh yeah, no. Uh, usually the cartographers, it's a whole environmental puzzle. Uh, just finding your way up. What is this sound, though? Water? No? Wind? Maybe? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh. There wow. we go. I did not expect that to work because environment. Yeah. Let me go up higher than I thought of before that glides. This is definitely starting our way towards it. So found the path. Since we're in a machine, I have to look around everywhere just in case there's scrap. Scrap. Normally you only find scrap in those uh, in those ships. In any of the old technology. Since this area seems to be chock full of it, I wonder how much is just be out here. Exactly. Or how much has already been found by the scrappers. True. Yeah, that's ground level. We can get that way. I will remember those <laughs> chunk. Ooh, that's climbable. Yeah, also there's a chunk over there. Where? Oh shoot. Buddy. There's a lot of things that I see in very short amount of time looking at. game is a good one for that. <laughs> There's a lot. Uh, yeah. 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 Get the friend. for that. Building a cream bread. <laughs> also, this. I'm searching for someone named Lore. Um, I went to each of the beetle stations, the, the inns there, to try and see, like, get some news. The old told me three different things. I was following the path of the archer in a different place, but Apparently there's another archer path in the Sodic Waste, which is where we are now. Huh. So, I was on a wild goose chase for a while. In the petrified forest. Oh, 
Oh, here. Oh. And now that's fully installed. Instead of just playable. <laughs> what is... Oh, is that the balloon? Over to the left? Colors? It's yes, on the other side. Yes, it is. Yes. yes, it is. You can glide over there. Just. Uh, oh, I was wondering if I can walk on this. Walkable. Yeah. Like, I can definitely fit through those holes. Oh, <laughs> nah, they didn't nah, want to program that. they didn't want to do that, yeah. I knew something was climbable already. That's on all three sides. I was looking for anything else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, we're here. Yes. Give me the thing. I greet the cartographer. Also, be prepared for my cartographer voice. Surprised you didn't hurt yourself getting all the way up here. <laughs> I guess you're stronger than you look. <laughs> oh, no. What do you mean that I look? Ask the cartographer to clarify what they mean by that. I mean you look a little small, sort of silly. But if you got all the way up here, you must be more must have more muscle than it seems. Well, I suppose I have my answer. Wanna buy a map? Oh, okay, let's trade. Oh, oh, what? No, no, don't do this to me again. Another glitch I ran into. From, yeah. And the way I f fixed that. The title. Oh. Not even a full restart, just go back to the title. Also, the song that's playing played when you first left the area. Oh, you're the off and you're gliding. Down. Here's a really, really nice song. <laughs> All right. Hang on this. I'm gonna get some water. I want some? Oh. I'll get some. I will try this.
talk, you need to drink something. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sonic Waste Map. Nice. And your badge, even though I don't really need it. What is that? You have three badges in your mask. Oh! But the cartographers are the only ones with six badges. I already have the mask. I just want to make sure I have all the badges. Anything nearby worth a look? They answer with a measurable amount of exasperation, practically snorting into their response. Well, you're in the middle of the shipyard, if that wasn't obvious. There are geyser rocks nearby, just don't get too close. The salt pools to the northeast are home to some decent folk, so go visit them if you like. Other regions are weird. Not much around, why, uh, why it's called a waste. Head west to Red Sea, southeast to Sand Sea. All right, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I should have done those first because after the buy option, it goes out. So, oh well. We were home. Yeah, it's not going I didn't even notice. They, I yeah. pick up on these things. Well, they do tend to recognize, like, they, there are both he's, he's and she's. Yep. In here. And that's but, why I said deliberate yeah. news. Yeah. That looks like something. I was gonna say glide the fuck over there. Oh, over. Map! Map! Okay, Ooh. so the ship graveyard is just over here. There's what I'm looking at seems to be right here. Um, this might be the this what is, is that? good. That is where the rings are. I need to uh, drive through. Alrighty. Dots. Lots of colorful dots. Oh yeah, no. The, the map is both detailed and not detailed. See that red? The, the red dot that was on the map. It's that. Oh. Over there. That. The, what, what do you think happens to those two parts? How do you think they connect? Close. They do. Does it flip the top? No. Does it work? The top's the part that doesn't work. The it, bottom comes up oh, to meet it. Oh, okay, that's, yeah. that was my next guess. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like sick. civilization over the smoke over there. Oh yeah. Check this out first. It's a very sick one. It's Might actually be around whatever section. Because the the archer. Oh, we actually get a mate on the top. Huh. Cool. I thought we'd end up in the, the section lower. Very angry. This this is a Hikaric ruin. That's how it comes. Um no. That has anything. I know these are Hikaric rings, that's what I get from driving through the rings in the six of them. Oh, the suspects were listed here? Interesting. He was the one who did it. This guy, shady as he was, had an actual alibi. Um, I guess I could show the outfit I've got. I didn't eventually get the pants. Flip through anymore. But uh that is me. And clothes. <gasps> yeah. But anything that's styled like this is from the Hikaric ruins. Whatever the Hikaric uh, civilization was. Yeah, oh oh this was just the these pillars held. This oh, oh one of the archer that was statues? A statue. Yeah. Oh, there's no tone. Yeah, see? That one's more built up over there. Certainly a lot more in the other direction. I'm seeing things. Also, interesting bit when you're gliding, you have the perpetual surrounding you like this.
in, in those recordings uh, with Saren, uh, the captain and people keep mentioning an energy field surrounding the planet. It is, in fact, visible and surrounding the planet, and it looks like that. Okay. You are... That way. May have actually been pointing right where I just was. They're, they're archers. Archer statues. Oh, but... Oh, it is, yes. Okay. It led me to a chest before, but that wasn't what I was looking for. I'm looking for a person oh. who is following their path. What? Make sure. It's just, it's an area with so much stuff around. Yeah, and, and they keep pointing me towards walls that I have to get around. <laughs> it's really annoying. Rijwer Pulp. Pulp oh, pop. Was. I'm certainly gonna need that for something. It is no good. gone too far for whatever the archer was trying to show. The statues I found before didn't go too far between. What we're gonna do is it does actually feel slower. Weird because it's supposed to have a faster max speed. If you jump off while it's still moving, it gets some momentum. It was easier to do that on the slower bikes because they had more stumbling. Didn't stop. Yeah, those are birds. Birds. But I guess it could be bugs. They could be bugs. Waterfall. Yeah, I do, I do think that archer. They're supposed to be leading me somewhere. I look at the quest. Uh, she suggested Sodic Waste. Mm -hmm. Look for the sleeping singers, a sled of stone whales, and follow the path of the archer. Okay. So following the path of the archer to the sleeping singers. Where I should find more. Okay, so look at what direction to turn around. This little but it's like that in general. Who knows if that's there's something uh, over there. Yep, yeah, no, that's it. There, there's two archers there. Ah! It's gotta be it. Fuck do I have enough? I, do I have enough you, stamina. Yes. Well, Yeah, no. I am gonna get I'm a genius. A lot of these quests just send you all over the place. Which is good. It, it's all about exploration, so you're gonna keep sending me different places. Quite literally. In fact, there's someone I need to go and talk to in uh, an area I've already been. I don't know if she has another quest for me or if th that's just the final place she ends up. Um, but I found her in one place, then had to go and find her in another place. And it's kind of like, oh hey, we keep running into each other. Yep, I, I know. You said you'd, you you said you'd be here, and I'm gonna go. Yep, see, there's two of them. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. Just 
jumped in there. It doesn't usually do that. That's an interesting map. That's multiple masks. Oh, it is one mask. <clears throat> the stranger by the fireside introduces themselves as Lore, the infamous fabulous. Not fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> if I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled Lore, they vanished in the sight of grass. A face turns. The Atomic Priesthood is looking for you. I tell Laura I was, I'm here on behalf of the Atomic Priesthood. I see then, bud. You've come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to talk about how I've gone astray. <gasps> okay! <laughs> All right. I'm not sure what to say next, and certainly not in rhyme, so I give a sort of playful shrug. Laura shakes her head and looks at the sky. I know why you stood once, but truth be told, I miss them as well. I'll wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they write this game because all the dialogue, everything that Sable is saying, like, sure, you have an actual line over there if you get a choice, but it's written like a book. <laughs> it's a really interesting it way of doing that it. that way. Yeah. Why did you leave Equia? The city is great. I love it so, but something troubles me. I've grown so fond of the world beyond. There's so much more to see. Shrugs. Back in crimes. Should I go, or should I just go? Uh... I feel like Sable, the character, would say the bottom, but I <laughs> No, I mean, I've been playing this. Chip, yeah, I think they put this here because Sable would say that. <laughs> rhymes, nice. Right, right. Tell her, Laura I like her rhymes. She thanks me for the wow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word. They treat me like a queen. But there's still something wrong. At an impasse. Ask what kind, and she doesn't answer. What is your name? Red Sable. Sable, as a have a particular insight into what I am seeking. Well, what I desire is to choose a path. You are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely secret. A uh, secret, but it's absolutely a secret, maybe bordering on a doubt. The atomic priest, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and... Well, frankly, I stop them being so bloody boring all the time. She crosses her arms. For that, they treat me wonderfully. I get anything I want, so long as I use my gifts to convey their message. It does, it does, it does. But it also means that I get to live a charmed life, and certainly more charm than most who make their living telling these stories. It's wonderful. So now I wonder, should I return to Ekia? Wow. Choices don't really seem to matter in this game, but... You say that. This is the first one that feels like it might. I feel like that. I would not want to that
Put it that way. No! Lord dismisses me. Oh no, no. Isn't that easy, Sable? See, that's why it doesn't matter. I've spent these weeks wandering the vastness of the desert, traveling through towns and encampments, through ruins and wonders, asking myself questions. And I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions for which I have no. I tell her yes, sure, of course, please. <laughs> Thank you. Of a glider's wisdom. Oh draws me closer and I look deep into the eyes of her. Sable, glider. What is the value of art? Is it spreading truth or is it spreading joy? Yes. It's quite a start. I tell her that the value of art is joy. Tell her it's joy, and she nods vigorously. If all we get is just one life to live a little while, then it would seem a noble dream to give the world a smile. I'm gonna cross stitch that. Yeah, keep it. That is, a that is a very good poem, holy shit. That is a good piece of wisdom. Yeah. Fascinating. Next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you val value caution or safety? Hold up. I'm But those are... Those Almost. are the same! No. Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much <laughs> the same thing. Not to me! Instead... Ooh, okay. So you want to hear what my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me something. Give me something. So, if you are cautious of something, you are taking to, into account what can happen and are readying yourself for the possibility of anything. If you're taking the safe way, you might not take the one that has the higher risk because you don't want to risk anything at all. Or at least. Risk anything at all. And if you go into something with caution, you know what you're risking, but you're doing it. In a yep, way caution, definitely that. caution. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I tell her I think caution is more important than safety. Caution! Interesting. You didn't thought. even have to think about that. Yeah, no, we definitely thought about that. More clears her throat. When I first left my home, sad, I knew not what I'd find as I walked this way. But I knew that in going, I'd risk soul and skin. So I wore caution out and lit fire. Ooh. Ooh very good. Ours. <laughs> <laughs> well. New, new rhyme scheme there. I like it. That's what I was like. Lord nods. For 
versatility. I, cool. <laughs> Best character. Yes, Best I character agree. I game. agree. <laughs> You've been so helpful, Sable. Thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you, still in your gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging in our freedom? Ooh. To be fair to lore, this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is my purpose as a glider to see all places? Or is it to find my place? I think on it and offer an answer. The purpose of such exploration is to indulge your freedom. Like, here's the, here's the thing about this game. The, the story, the way you end the game is to find your purpose because you're going about collecting these badges to collect the masks associated with them, the masks each having a purpose. So that's how you end, but there's so much more you can do. You could find one mask, head on. back, and be done. Be done real quick. It wouldn't be much of the game, but yeah, the, the purpose is not to find, uh, of exploration is not to find your purpose, it's to indulge your freedom. Another really real statement. Oh yeah. I tell Laura that the point is to indulge our freedom. Fascinating. She breathes in. Our hearts are such impatient things. They hate to be told no. So we seek out time while in while we're in our prime. But it's space we need to grow. Hmm! <laughs> I'm so glad I found her while you were here. <sighs> Holy shit, these are great. Bless. Absolutely. Laura pauses after this last. Hear the wind blow. Suddenly she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I've made up my mind. Oh my god. But I'll need another <laughs> night or so to think. Ask Laura if she's going back to Equi or not. She laughs. Find myself liking her laugh quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Oh, I, did her master spin? Yes. Yeah, excellent. It's been spinning. I really should have been. I've been paying attention to the words. Yes. I haven't been looking up. It's been spinning for every, every line, line as a that is, that as is, a feeling to the line. Oh man, if if I'd realized that, I might have been speaking a bit differently for each line. <laughs> it's okay. You were pretty yeah. good. I've been kind of going with the, the light gravelly voice. Mm hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today. I feel quite refreshed. I take this I take this badge, a token of your contribution. The entertainer's mask. Look straight. A glider named Sable, the fabulous Lord, shared something today on the sands. If I put faith in her judgment, I'll trust in her brain, and my fate in her capable hands. Wow. Ah, you're so good at this. This is so good. <laughs> Lore bows, and I must admit, I feel quite nice having her. Thank you, Sam. I know we'll meet again. I wish Laura the best and tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. <laughs> yes! In her thoughts, she rhymes. Hell yeah. I'm so proud of you, kid. Oh no, she's, she's got, got me, me doing, doing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wonderful. Wonderful. What a great interaction. Yeah. And then we gotta speak to the person who sent us. Oh, that was so fucking cool! That was me. Oh, man. Like, like I've said before, I'm really enjoying this game. It is very well written. I just wish it wasn't so fucking glitchy. Yeah. But that's the thing I kind of love about this, is it feels like a project made out of love. Oh, yeah. Like someone who had a great idea for a story and was like, I don't care how fucky the gameplay is, I want to get the story across. Mm. And all of the story in this game, you have to seek out yourself. The, the few things it gives you as, as what seems to be requirements is in the opening section, where you have to go and uh, get your first mask before you start your gliding. And of course, learn how to ride the bike so that you can get your own bike, which Sable is very excited about at the time. Plateaus around here. See nothing. Okay. 
Well, we finally found lore. Yeah, there's like a little ruin on top of it. No box. It's hard it, to tell. Well, there are birds in this game, so it could easily be birds. Um, we've come across crows. Or crow, or crow like things that we scare off when we get when we climb up high enough. Alright, that's probably where the people are. That let's get a rain. We're doing that. Look at that. Yeah. Um Perk. do that first so we can do the thing and then I think the we actually have to. Did we get the other chum that was here? Hmm? Did we get the other chum that was here? Nope. And we're gliding back this way now. <laughs> okay, that's where our bike is anyway. Okay. Yep. That one. Okay. Yeah. We, we saw it when we were over it and it was on the brownish level. Here's the thing. I... What... Are these these ships wreckage of? What? Because from what I could tell, the whale is what went down, and the big ships that ended up in each of the regions were practically escaped. Though though more than that, there are more transports that happened to launch. But what's all this? What was this a part of? We may actually learn that. At There were other things in the game where you had to, like, lure things to a fruit, and... The butterfly I'm looking for. Salt! These butterflies seem to feed off particular plants in the salt plains. It's a wonder that they can survive out there at all. So, Shai Rijwer pole. Emits from the top of the Shai Rijwer plant. Remarkably sticky. Pretty helpful when re repairing things. Hey, okay, look, a chunk. Is that the one we saw? I don't know, no. but we're close enough that it could be. This is climbable? Okay. We'd be climbing. Wait, yes, because. It is the one? I thought it was over a different texture. It might be. But the reason I was thinking. Oh, well, no, that's it. This is the way we were supposed to start. Because we ended up getting to that ladder and then we started off. Yeah. The fun part of exploration games. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you get there. Especially if you can climb. We're, we're in an area where we can't really climb. There's ladders. It's definitely over here. There you are. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, saw it off that way, yeah. Don't do that. It does that once in a while. Just 
tells me, don't lose your bike. I'm never gonna lose my fucking bike. Don't spook me like that. I'm riding yeah. the bike. What do you mean? Also, yeah. That is... Yeah, there's one... Dune Rider! We finally got the distance. It's 50 kilometers. Um, yeah, there's one of these rings in the beginning area. You're like, oh, just drive through that ring and back to see how you know how to do this. So there wasn't one of these there, but there's now, and... Ow. Ow. There's the stairs to get in. Huh. And then it pulls the camera back like that to get to us. One time, we were at a different elevation and clipped through the ground. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a quest for them, actually, because oh. I didn't find the place they're supposed to go. You can get a quest for them, but what I'm going to do now, this is either where civilization is or it's just the geysers he mentioned. I'm going to see if we can get our fast travel oh, here before I do anything, and then I'm going to go and find a place to turn those in. Because when I was looking at how to get the trophies, um, I figured out what I needed to do for Geyser Tower. Geyser Tower. So Ge no, Geyser like... Tower. Oh, Geyser Tower. Yeah. So we are here. And it's a fast travel. Good. That's what I wanted. Yeah. I said there were people somewhere, but I'm not actually sure where. Um, where we need to go... Which, that doesn't make any sense, by the way. Here's the entrance. And here's the exit. So how is... What? Why it's over Why there? I have it? no idea. Oh. It said it was in the Badlands. It's probably not here. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't stand out. I would have seen something that stood out. Yeah, you can see how I got to the cartographer this way. Uh -huh. Went up the skeletons. Um, maybe these were just a bunch of stuff up there. Part There's of a ship there. And somewhere. Th this was where I got the ring there. next to where I was. There we go. Look at that. Huh. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I was going to say, you never see that. <laughs> yeah. And we'll start here. Okay, so that's not Kemble's too bad. Kemble's Cube. There's another crash ship, but it didn't count for the saver thing. Don't you go deep? Oh, I mean, you know me. My body runs cold, period. <laughs> mm, fair enough. The My AC has been either ha hyperactive or underactive. Very annoying sometimes. The weather is insane. Woo! I remember correctly what the Badlands you drive around in, because it's a lot of high ground. Oh, ah. I'm heading in the right way at least. I just need to make a turn up here. I have it on my compass, but I wanted to make sure I was taking the right way. 
Are they not final? Well, I just realized I, I took a look through here. So I'm like, oh wait, no, I don't need to climb that. That that was a split second change of uh, change of plan. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh and look, six rings. Mm. Mysterious shrine. A machine is found. Oh, you're not actually out here. Okay. Unless you're around the back. Yeah, I was gonna say. Or they went into the ruins. Right. Yeah, it's not very good with the location title cards. It'll just some in some locations they'll pop up when you're already in the center of the location. Like that. Hey! I know I'm here already. Hello? Ah. There you are. Oh, oh, you move about. Not talk to you while you're on the stairs. Every time I meet another machinist, my mind wanders back to Saizo. I wonder if she's hearing my of my travels through whatever network I build. I wonder if she's proud. For now, as I greet the stranger. Oh, I love meeting gliders. Come here, uh, come here, come here. What's your name? I approach, tell her I'm Sable. Sable. A lot like table. You get that a lot? <coughs> this is the first time. Really? First thing I thought of. First thing. <coughs> Anyhow, my name's Fur. Uh, it sounds like fear. Okay, there we go. Name's Fear. Sounds like fear, right? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like deer, too. She looks thoughtful. I mean, I guess? Yeah, anyway, I didn't call you over <laughs> to talk rhymes. I called you over to show you something you're gonna love. I'm pretty deep into historical stuff. Ruins, old tiny ships, the old books. All the old monumentalist leftovers. Well, why not? Um, recently I've deciphered a few monumentalist texts which point to some sort of synergistic structures positioned all across the world in all different places. What do you mean synergistic? I mean that the texts just their Responsive. More than simple statues or slabs of rock or whatever they form, the text suggests they record data or somehow interact with people. But I think it's something else, something way more fun. I ask what, what she thinks they are. I think they're a game. <laughs> See, we have this thing, everybody does, where we look to the past and we assume they all, they're all work and no because we all, uh, because all we see, all that persists, is their labor. Chips and logs and tools and things. But fun. Fun's ephemeral. Jokes disappear, doodles get lost while art survives. So we lose it all and we go on assuming they never had it. So if you've got the time and the inclination glider, I'd recommend you keep your eyes open for monumentalist architecture that seems suspicious or strange. Irresponsive somehow. I'd say a glider on a bike's a perfect person to test my theory if you're up for it. Hmm. Sounds fun. Good, thank you. I'll try to keep deciphering my records. Report back what you find, please. And if you sort out the game, I hope you enjoy it. Tell her I will. Great, thanks, Table. Good luck. God damn it. <laughs> Good luck. Hey. Wait, this is the same thing. Come on. Don't do that. Maybe maybe I have to put them in or something before I talk to them again. All right. Yeah. 
before we do the stuff inside. Gotta look around. <laughs> Animal surfaces. <laughs> Always over a flat surface. Ta-da! Buddy! The ring-shaped artifact I found looks like it would fit into the pedestal. Bring more. Well, what do you know? I already have them all. Oh. Oh shit, are you gonna give me a part for every two? Talk to them once and then talk to them again when we have them. Oh, oh, we put them in first. They head out to their. They might have had time. Brown. Not, uh, not many of the NPCs in this game. Saber Sable? That's all the inscriptions. First two suggest they might be instructions? Build something, I think. The third part seems to be where all the good stuff is. That's what she means by good stuff. The why and what of it all. Uh, why are we building this? What are we building? I suspect that it's a bit of a treasure hunt. You're meant to make your own prize. In which case, part of the game is involving the third clue. So I think your work is done for now, and mine begins. Give me a few days, Abel. Reckon I can crack this soon. I tell Fear I'm keen to see what she comes up with. I say goodbye for now. I actually have to wait a few days. Oh my god. That's why I made sure to come here as soon as we got the last one. Alright, and we can fast travel there now. Good. The, the levels of zoom on the map are annoying. This is as far out as we can zoom. In once. In again. Why? Why would I have to look in this this far? I think that's just the ship. Okay. So we go back here. Before I greet them, the hunter is making some breathy noises, loud exhales through near pursed lips and small, effortful hoops. They run their hand along the back of their skull and stare upward, away for short moments before turning back in my direction and shaking their head. This isn't how I'm used to seeing hunters, whom I've had come to associate with perfect calm. Glider. I can tell they are trying to infuse some calm into their voice, but it doesn't work. Can you help me? My name's Zebby, and uh, I've been out here for a while now. My partner Dylan, traveling partner I should say, <laughs> uh, got it in his head to climb up there after some bird's eggs. That's rather high. Up 
think I sound afraid when I remark how high up it is, but Zebby seems to think I'm commiserating. I know, it's... Uh, I don't use this word often, and I don't like to, but it's... It's preposterous is what it is. <laughs> you don't like to say it's preposterous? preposterous. <laughs> I'm a hunter, if you think... If your success were measured on the length, weight, and majesty of your core, you'd hate her hyperbole too. This situation calls for it. I told them I see, but I don't really. That'd be huffs. Not happy to admit this, but I'm not too fond of heights. Well, some would say I'm afraid of them or a lot. If you could get up there and grab Dylan for me and tell him I'm gonna kill him when he gets down here, it'd be real helpful. Well, Zebby, I'm happy to do most of that and take on the task. Say goodbye. Riding away. Oh, no, it shows it. Okay. Maybe, since we have to climb all the way up there, maybe just for this one, we don't have the mask yet. We're going to get the mask afterwards. I put on. The bouldering top. Bouldering outfit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I have two of the badges. Does kind of work with this, but it is protected as well. Um, Protection. Yeah, Please. but also means you don't see your hair, um, which I'm okay with. It's like almost shoulder length, just kind of sets it up. Um, but if there were another mask we wanted to try with this outfit, what would you say? Ooh. Yeah, you can see your hair back there. That one, if you go back to oh, every time, <laughs> every it's time. <laughs> Ba back to our original. All right. Yeah, I like the horns. I don't really like the neck. Got a charm. There's so many. Know what I'm gonna need these for if I do, but we'll get them. Is that snow? What? It's probably steam from the scissors. Right. Oh, that's it. there's there's no snowy terrain. It's all different variations of desert. <laughs> There were some, there were some before. I think that's guarantee. where we need to go. I was gonna say guarantee you we have to get up there. Yep. have we here? How did this get wedged inside? Stone grow around it? I don't know. Is it stone we're climbing? 
Neon flash die. I check that out. Whenever I look at the at the dies, I forget that I should really be trying it out on all of the parts and not just the one I'm looking at. It's hard to keep track of. be able to climb What? That. And just another 20. Um, yeah, like the, the, the high pillar is just straight up, so I'm trying to find the way around to get there. There's another piece of ruin up there. Is that how I got in? That's how I got in. Oh, I think you have to go this way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really good at finding paths. Both in games and real life. So as long as I'm not time. driving. Yeah. I have a very good sense of direction. Yeah. When, yeah. I have a really good sense of direction when I'm on my feet. It's in games. Chum! Ninety. Only ten more. It, re it really does just come up on you. How oh, fast you collect those. We may actually have to use the guys. I have enough stamina for this. Rings on the outside go away faster than you, but... Oop! Oh, hey, Artemis! Hey, good! The audio bug isn't there. That That's very good to hear. Yeah, yesterday, uh, there was some sort of issue that they were hearing. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Huh? What? Well. Why? Well, why is, uh, this. No. I thought I was going to have to jump and glide before uh, it worked. It just threw me up. We're wearing the same outfit. Climber <laughs> <laughs> Dylan. Hello, glider. Actually, you want to take this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hello, glider. What if you weigh? Dylan looks perfectly content, even happy, taking in the scenery alone. I gaze briefly out at the horizon. <laughs> it is a nice view. What are you doing up here? He laughs. I tell Dylan that I've been sent by Zebby to encourage him to come back down and continue their journey together from less frightening height. Dylan shakes his head. Zebby, what a killjoy. Here, have a look at this and tell me if you would come down. Wait, what do you mean you climbed up the actual path? I thought that was part of the actual path. <laughs> All right, Artemis. Chat. No, that's yeah. fine. Vaguely make out letters on a screen. <laughs> yeah, that that's why I have it on my phone over here, so I can actually read it. Look at that beautiful beast. Called a painter. Ever heard of them? Native to the Sodic Waste. People say they're direct descendants of the I mean, humans of yeah, the past. I mean, what? <laughs> that one's got a whole bunch of Right for the thing. Or maybe the humans brought animals. Brought things with them. Is it a flamingo? flamingo? What? <laughs> Dylan nods his resolve. I need to figure out how to get them. Could I help you? I ask if there's anything I might be able to, to help with, given my status. I've been thinking the best way is probably to frighten the mother off with something shiny, and then... 
collecting masks, right? If you've got anything, shiny and metallic, that might do the trick. I tell him I'll think on this and try to be of assistance. He thanks me and returns to his bird watching. Say goodbye to Dylan. Shiny, huh? So definitely not this mask. Metallic. Yeah. Smooth, perfect surface. It's probably yeah. fine. This might work too. Pro I don't know. We're looking to scare something. <laughs> We're looking to scare something. I'm, I, I'm going to be the shade, but of course I'm going to be the full shade. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Look at scare something. Definitely oh, want to go this way. Ah. Alrighty then. So we're looking to get up there? Yeah, so definitely. Definitely this way. First. Yeah, shiny metallic or the shade. Or just, you know. <laughs> oh right, then. Yeah. There's there's a lot of like fog effects in the game that just, it's all looking like this. Huh. Hey, you can walk <gasps> Buddy! Using the energy of the perpetual. Yeah. Oh yeah, that should be an easy glide over <coughs> and then climb. Yeah. And then you take a rest oh, yeah, at that, that middle one. Fucking flamingo. Uh Oop. maybe. Flamucan. Can <laughs> be and flamingo body. Yeah. But if this climb doesn't work and I don't have the stamina for it, then we can certainly use the Oh, that's interesting. Hollow top. There's a point in that, or if it's just nope, you can't go down here. We'll just throw you back out. <laughs> Three on that one. Yeah, be being that the uh, the perpetual doesn't use stamina, if you fall off from running out of stamina, you can still use it. Huh. Oh, we're getting some music up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Fuck. Hi. That is. Uh oh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, big ass. Okay, maybe the shade wasn't the right choice. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I was going. I, I don't need to climb yet. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh! It's still flying, but... Okay, it was something shiny that I needed. <laughs> Not the shade. I thought I was gonna be funny by scaring it with something actually creepy as fuck. <laughs> We're <laughs> right next to him. I try not to look too tired, and I hand the eggs over to Dylan, who seems positively delighted. Would you look at that? I hate to admit it, but you might be a better climber than me. <laughs> at least a better bird scare. Birds tremble before <laughs> me. <laughs> hmm, I suppose I should get back to something. Before I do, you certainly deserve this. That's like no climb I've ever seen. Certainly not by an amateur. Dylan hands me a climbing badge, and I thank him for it. See you around, glider. And thanks. I say goodbye to Dylan. Goodbye. 
complete, but we're gonna go down and talk. Around here, I wanted to see what was in that hollow. Oh no, it's just I was just, just gonna say it looks like just a geyser. There is something. Actually, is that just I think it's the entrance to what I was just looking at. Okay, this, and then up, up. Way? Perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> up, up. Sean, <laughs> let me have the away. No. Oh, well. Watch, I walk away in a second. Right. <laughs> Zebby isn't nearly as harried as when I first met them. They greet me warmly, and I feel their relief in my shoulders. Thank you so much for fetching Dylan for me, Glider. No problem. That man really likes eggs, eh? Man. I remarked to Zebby how much Dylan seemed to like eggs. Well, just so you know. The adventure's not exactly over. See, Dylan wasn't planning on eating those eggs, I hope you know. He's quite keen on birds, and well, it seems at the end of all this, he and I are gonna end up with chirpy little triplets. Hey, we'll name one after you. I tell Zebby, I think I'd like that. I give a congratulatory farewell. Goodbye. Okay. Cool. Your climbing partner. Yeah. I guess co parents exist. Why not? Hmm. Just climbing partners. Just climbing partners. That's it. Hey, listen. Climbing partners can co-parent a baby flamingo-ish looking thing if they want to. <laughs> I want to know what's in this shy flower. If at all. If at all. Is that a plant or a person? Is that a plant? Honey's on plant. Honey's on plant. Look different from the plants around it, so, so it's worth yeah, investigating. Yeah, that's, that's a plant. That's a plant. Oh, it does the sand. Yes, it does. So what you're standing on right now would not count as sand. No, it probably does actually. <laughs> Shelled cup. Nobody knows how these fish survive in the harsh, salted landscape of the sodic waste, but without a delicate ecosystem that sustains creatures like pink necks, built like pink necks, would be disrupted. Ah, all right. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, where am I going from here? Ah. Oh no, there's there's more like it. Well, um, I was gonna say. Oh, what hello. Is that? What, what do you hear? Bikes around. <laughs> Some eggs. Some eggs. Not to eat, but to raise. Man sure likes his eggs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> These I'm dots. About those dots. Oh. They're colorful pieces and pressure. That's certainly. That's gotta be water. Oh. Water. Yeah. Water. I don't know. Have you ever seen pink water? Yes. Where? There's one very specific lake that is known for being uh, bright pink. Due to my algae, I believe. Yeah, I was gonna say. 
Luminescent. Not luminescent, no. You can look it up. It's it just pink. <laughs> yeah, the pink light. I feel like these are going to be for something, but I have no idea what. Also, is that just... That's supposed to be there? I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I don't think it's supposed to be there. I don't know that that's supposed to be But the fact that it's... Ah, it ends. Work. But... <laughs> it ends real flatly, too. All right. Thanks for the line of demarcation between spaces, I suppose. Yeah, I feel like that's probably it, but... Now I just want to drive down it and see what happens. <laughs> Nope, just ends over here too. That's this is your side. This you, is my you would side. think that it would be on the map here. <laughs> it is not. chum on top of one of these. Oh, for sure. <laughs> there's some things I've climbed where I'm like, oh, there's got to be something up here, and then there isn't. But there, there's also been some stuff that exactly that. Oh, yes, there is a chum up here. <laughs> or there is something up here. Uh, I can see the tops. Ah, oh, you one. were not wrong, though. There's yeah, chum. I don't want to get closer before. <laughs> much stamina to get up here. I want to do anything. Probably gonna be a wild goose chase. Or we just find where we. Yeah, I'm like, that's. That's one of the tops of one of those ruins. mentioned there was a place with people here, so I don't know what it is. The only people we found were those climbers. Hunter and climber. One researcher. Uh, what the machinist? Yeah. Um, wait, no, he wasn't here. In the, he was in the, so the Sonic Wave. You're talking about who we went to Talking about fear? The guy with the, yes. That was back in the Badlands. Uh, I traveled to that one. Uh, 
Samoon, we're over this way. Nope, Follow me. Come on, Samoon. Follow these for now, but I think they're going to lead us to where we've already been. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Which way was he pointing? That way or this way? Probably this way. Up there? Looks like here. Yeah. And that's the and one then we found before. It doesn't have a top on it. Also. Um, but what I was going to say is it is right near the aquifer's, aquifer's balloon. balloon. Yeah. Yeah. So these are, in fact, leading right back where I thought it would. We're going to fast travel. Um, right. I wanted to go to the Seven Sisters Station. Because I think we have a character to talk to. Quest will tell me when enough days have passed for her. Hey, she is here. Hello, Elizabeth. Well, look who it is. What are the chances? You look well, friend. Friend. I affect the casual air, and she cannot see me grin as I ask how she found herself here. Well, I plan to go into a coa properly, but as much as I have faith in these old bones to hold me, I didn't fancy roaming in the ways for. For, for, for too long. Shame though, I was hoping to grab a few glowing mushrooms. If you can get them, uh, you can get past the sulfur, sulfurous pools, they make quite, for quite a snack. I tell her I had never known them to be edible. I'd seen some along Driss's supplies once, and he told me they were poisonous, never to touch them. Uh. Oh, they're very much edible. I found that out uh, one very entertaining evening in Acria. Let's just say there's a case to be made that this is my third gliding if I count the night ah! I had as my if ah! I count the night I had as my second. Oh, they're mushrooms. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. She laughs at the memories and I cheekily reevaluate several things about Driss. <laughs> You've done enough for me, of course, but if you do happen upon any of those fungi luminescent little fellas, I'd love a few. Oh my gosh. They, they tend to grow in a cave of the sulfur pool as far south of here. Yeah, I already have. Yeah. Luminescent adolescent. <laughs> I return, Elizabeth is sharpening a knife with a carved hilt and humming a tune that seems at once new and familiar. The sound of her voice is calming then, but booms a welcome. I, I should give you a bit of backstory on Elizabeth. Uh, she is a 
guard who retired to go on a second glider. Oh. So I decided just like, I want to go explore again. I'm done. <laughs> Hell yeah. Absolutely. She returns triumphant, I bet. I haven't left. <laughs> <laughs> I confirm as much, uh, confirm as much, with a handful of mushrooms, and she raises them to her face to smell. As she inhales, I look at the worn edges of her mask. Sun-bleached brow, the wear and tear of age, the scuffs befitting a veteran guard. I remember that before. I remember. I remember that before all this, she has seen combat with danger. Adventure. The deep and crooked line along the cheek where she has to put it back after the break. And I wonder at what or who did the damage. I bet they thought they had won, that she was beaten, until they saw Elizabeth's grin laid bare, bloody and pitiless. She tucks the mushrooms away and draws out a third badge. <clears throat> One more token of my friendship, and a little boost, too, should you ever decide to become a guard like me. I think I might like that. Oh, really? Well, 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 how interesting. You haven't mentioned that all this time. For what it's worth, I think you'd be good at it. You have a keen eye, helpful demeanor, enough patience to, to listen to this old bird squawk away for ages. The rest you can learn. I'd be happy to teach you. I thank her and I tell her I'll think on it. I don't think too hard. I know it feels like whatever you choose is yours forever, but it is one of many choices you're going to make. Not even the biggest. This gliding you're all? It's your only your first. There's plenty more life to live. I ask where she's headed next. She laughs. Into these mushrooms first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then who knows wherever I move to go, but I'm sure I'll see you there. I bow to Elizabeth and say goodbye for now. Okay, that's the last of her quest, and I have all four badges for the guards. I already got the last one. Ah, I was just you, you get one from the mystery, and then three from her. Um, what do we have left here? Right, I have a few masks I'm, I can make, and I also need to go and talk to the... Uh, back to Sharvarana about lore. Um, and also... I have a few days since I was there, but I don't know if it'll tell me I should go back. Uh, now do I go to the mask caster here? Was this the one that was really blue inside? No, it's not, so we'll do them here. Mystery in the tent is intense, uncomfortable. Oh, we get yeah, three masks to get. Show my climbing badges. This scene is the same every time, and I really wish that when you got the new mask, it would just put it on you. But it doesn't. Reach out the little clips I get. Try and get the mask as fast as I can. Somewhat terrifying. <laughs> a bit. Get to see the little bits of the perpetuals. See colors like that in the, in the beginning. Not so much else does. Only when you go and get a mask. Glad I went to this one. I like the intensity of the color in here. There was another that was dark enough that it was just. Should be wearing the other mask. It would make more sense for that to be the case. Climbing it? mask. Where is it? There it is. Climbing mask. Can't help but feel embodied by a reptilian creature when wearing this mask. <laughs> Walls look less steep somehow. Ooh. It doesn't actually affect anything. Aww. The only the only mask I know of that affects something is like oh wear a shiny thing to scare the bird away. And I think you get a mask from the Chum Queen. Oh my gosh. Just like the Korok mask. Oh, there's a bucket. I don't know why they make me pick up buckets. Like, there's no purpose to doing so. Uh, entertainer. I don't know what this one looks like. I, I still like this mask the best. <laughs> it's simple. But in a good mechanical way. Same scene every time. <laughs> Ever so slightly. But I do. 
It'd be cool if when you took the new mask out, you were wearing it. That would make the most sense. I don't well, care. That's what it's I don't like... care that the actions are the same. Yeah. Like, look at that. It looks it like just you just put on sense. a new mask. Yeah. Exactly. But I do still like the spacesuit, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the whale suit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It literally just us. <laughs> yeah, no, that's literally what it is. Entertainer's mask. What does it look like? Go, go, go. There it is. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Wait, I've seen this mask before. The, the guy who sells you the shade stuff wears this mask. Imagine just this weird little mask poking out of a wall until you talk to it and an actual That's guy comes so out. so funny. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be that. That's cool. It's somewhat good. Oh, yeah. Entertainer's mask. It's zoomed out far enough that it just clips in, into the tent. This is a very confined space. The camera does not like it. I feel like this, the mask caster is like the most magical looking thing. It is. Is probably closest to Everything else has been pretty. Yeah. And one thing I pointed out a while back is that everyone you meet is wearing a mask. Which means there's only one opportunity to see an actual face in this game. It's not on a person, oh. it's a door. Oh. You find a few face doors throughout. That when you uh, complete when you complete a task, they open up, split down the center. Here you are, angler mask. Oh, that's cool. About what I expect. Yeah. Fish mask. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, honestly. But all right. Those are the masks that I can get now. Looking at my quests, I only have an ancient race, building a kingdom, gliding, and searching for lore. So, um, about nine. It's about time to end. The question is, do I complete searching for lore now or my next stream? That's kind of the thing right there. Actually, oh man. I would like to see how this ends. All right. Uh, that, that, that's it. what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably track it. Keep going. It's turned around in the city. Yeah. I'm, I'm missing one part of the guard unit. I have the mask. I have the. Uh... Ah. Atomic Priest Charver. Three things, Glider. We don't know what you said to her, Glider, but we are grateful that you said it. Law has returned with a renewed passion, and we credit you. So thank you, Glider, and be safe. Farewell. Okay. That's it? Alright. Am I getting anything for that? Hello. Maybe. And about the weather. Farewell. Oh, wow. Okay. I was expecting something. I didn't know what. I was expecting something. Um, but yeah, I guess the quest is done. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be going there next. We still need, like, I want to say, like, nine chum eggs. Eight. Eight. I don't know what that eight. Yeah, I saw I, that pop up. Yeah, like down there is my cuts. 458. Yeah, 92 chums. I don't know what the sun is. Also, when I'm looking at the, at the compass, I'm actually looking at the compass. Well, that's cool. 
Oh. Yeah. Like any anything gameplay wise is actually a functional item. Stone, compass, navigator, which is where Zuby and I play. And then all the maps. Yeah, so we're pretty close to being done. I'll have to review my trophies again, but I think we have we have all of the masks. Yes. We do. We have all at least the ones you have to collect uh these for. I think I need to fill out the vivarium and collect the rest of the chums. I guess get the rest of the outfits because I'm still missing some pieces. I may actually have to look to start looking things up. Oh, did I actually deliver the stuff? So when I went to the vivarium, it actually took them out of my inventory. Uh, Normally, I would save right in front of where we. Um, <laughs> that was strong ass. Yeah, save wherever we need to be next, but I'm just gonna stop here. Okay, it's about a raid. Like, uh. <laughs> of course. Did you have fun? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send you there. I'm gonna send you to Ellie. Ellie and playing some Dead by Daylight. With someone I don't recognize. <laughs> okay. okay, well, until next time, this is the Pirate King. And Ferris. Signing off. Have a good night. <laughs>